Good morning, Fish on Alberta viewers. It is the first day of 2023. It is 8 a.m. I'm getting a bit of a late start because of uh, New Year's and whatnot. But I am heading out to Mitchell Lake today with uh, Victor and Terry Ann. So let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, breakfast of champions.
All right. Oh, it's hard to keep these things keep these things fog free today. So I got the tent set up, as obviously as you can see behind me here. So uh, before I get going here, let's show you guys the regulations for Mitchell Lake. The regulations for Mitchell Lake can be found in your Alberta Guide to Sport Fishing Regulations Handbook or online at alberta-regulations.ca slash fishing regs. If you turn to page 16 in your handbook, you will see something that looks similar to the image on the screen. If you look under Eastern Slopes Zone, Watershed Unit ES2, you will find Mitchell Lake listed below. Mitchell Lake is part of the Put-Antake Trout Stocking Program, and if you look near the top of the page, you will see the regulations for the water bodies under the Put-Antake Program. This means Mitchell Lake is open all year. Bait is allowed. You may keep 5 trout of any size, 3 northern pike of any size, and 15 yellow perch of any size, although, there is no evidence of northern pike or yellow perch in Mitchell Lake, for all other species, please see the maximum possession limits. You should also note, that there are no gas motors allowed on Mitchell Lake. If you plan on fishing Mitchell Lake in the winter, please be aware of the surface aerator, the Alberta Conservation Association aerates lakes so that they can help create, maintain, and enhance recreational angling opportunities for Albertans by encouraging the year-round survival of trout in stocked water bodies. Lakes that are typically shallow, eutrophic, and experience prolonged ice and snow cover are prone to winter kills. Aerators can substantially alter ice conditions, creating thin ice and even open water. Danger signs are posted to protect you, enter onto the ice at your own risk. Don't forget to pick up a copy of Barry Mitchell's Alberta Fishing Guide for more information on Mitchell Lake. If you happen to encounter a bull trout, it must be released, remember, no black put it back. And if you encounter a Prussian carp, don't let it loose, please kill it, and either take it home to eat, or dispose of the remains away from any other water bodies. Alright, it's a little hard to see. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's really hard to see on the GoPro, but I got several fish surrounding my green SOS. I don't know, some nice sized fish there. You know what? I'm going to put on uh, the hot spot and the midnight fire and we'll see what we can uh, stir up down there there's definitely some big fish down there from what I can see I bet you I'm about uh, 10 15 foot of water I can see the bottom I definitely had some fish come and check out my fly already this is last year's fly so let's put on this year's fly and see what we can do I don't even have time to set up the other cameras right now because these fish will not leave my fly alone. I've had one fish come back over and over, opens his mouth and then swims away. You see that bright thing is my split shot. All right, I'm going to get these other cameras set up now before we really start to get into some action. Okay, there's a fish right there. He's going for it, he's going for it, come on. He's going for that. He's going for the midnight fire. He's coming toward you, Victor. And there's another one. Yeah, there we go. Tigger, oh, he's off. They have been going after the midnight fire non-stop and they've actually been trying to rip the tail off they ripped the tail off this thing I'm going in now I got the hot spot pheasant tail <laughs> yep with the midnight fire leech and a split shot and down they go down they go down they go right about there I would just unravel the cocksucker. Yeah. Oh shit, you got a bit of a... Oh shit, 
shove on Right, that's going out on dirt. There we go. All right. Good stuff. All right, we got ourselves a fish. And he took the nymph. Ooh, it's a tigger. Tiger? It's a tigger, come here. There we go. Nice fish, buddy. Right yeah. Right on. All right, we got ourselves a nice looking tiger. All right. Back down the hole he goes. Oh man, this is going this is going really, really well. Alright, have how about date, Victor? You need some food energy to get that confidence up. <laughs> Victor literally just watched a a fish torpedo my leech. Yeah. I saw him fly by my hole. <laughs> yeah. He wants his frequent flyer miles, he does. Alright, so I caught one fish on the hot spot pheasant tail. I had another one on the midnight fire leech, but that was kind of a odd occurrence. He was maybe six inches under the ice, and he grabbed my split shot first, and then he went back and grabbed a leech, and he was just being a little turd. All right, I'm outside the tent. Victor said there was some crazy fog action going on. He wasn't kidding. Look at all that fog. Oh man, we were having non-stop action in the tent. We only landed a couple, but that is okay. We've all had fish on. Hence, fish on Alberta. <laughs> you know when you gotta leak your propane tent, because your eyes won't open anymore. <laughs> they just stay shut. Oh man, we, we had that happen once. We were playing darts in the garage, and we had the propane heater going in the winter time, and we couldn't figure out why all of our eyes were burning so bad. <laughs> we had a couple of smokers in there, and we thought it was them. But when we opened up the garage door, the whole garage just filled with smoke. And then we went and saw the propane tank with a block of ice. Oh, good times, good times. <laughs> good times. Good times. Survive that one. Near death is okay. Mm -hmm. Full death, not so much. Got him, got him, got him. Got him, 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 Where'd he go? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm coming, Victor. Gotcha. I'm coming, tiny. Victor. I got him, I got him. Tiny. What? Oh, eat, get over here. Look at rainbow. You mother! <laughs> 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 and he was big. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> what happened? I lost him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some nice fish. There's some nice fish down there. If only we could keep them on the hook. But I'm so proud of you, Frick. You've had so much action today. Mm -hmm. You've had more than me and Terry Ann. One thing. Come here, way Matt. Oh. At least my hands aren't cold. Yeah, now that we got the heater working again. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder to see the bottom down it there. Is, that orange bead sticks out like a sore yes. thumb down there. Yes. So if you see it vanish, maybe yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those big ones seem really, really smart. Hmm. Why they're big? They That's true. Just like that little one that tried to swim into my hole earlier. <laughs> he was small and he was stupid, just like a teenager. <laughs> well, I have had a couple of fish grab the split shot and run with it today. Yeah, yeah, I will create the split shot fly one yeah. of these days. Oh man, that was too funny. I just had a fish on, and he popped off at the hole, and then he tried to swim up the hole, and Victor saw him. I saw. <laughs> I saw him too. Something there, we all saw him. Oh, you friggin' fish. Counts. All right, so that about does it for us on Mitchell Lake today. We didn't get a whole lot of uh, fish on camera, but it was a very productive day. <sighs> Time to do the tear down. 
and it's uh, it's become quite cold. You can actually uh, see the fog in behind me again. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more fish on Alberta. Oh, there. Layer down. If you're interested in more fish on Alberta content, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. You can also join our Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And keep in mind, you can play a role in protecting fish and wildlife resources and our natural surroundings by observing the activity around you. You can report suspicious and illegal activity by calling the number on the screen or by visiting reportapoacher.com. When you report an incident you could be eligible for a reward for providing information on violations of Alberta's fish and wildlife laws. Thanks for watching.